Hi everyone, this is a video uh, response to uh, Whoopi's uh, latest uh, video and um, if you go to the Overunity Over forum topic uh, you can uh, see uh, the discussion that's going on about this. Uh, this is somewhat kind of related to, with the um, experiments that I'm doing trying to collect flyback and make a have another use uh, of utilizing the uh, flyback or the inductive kickback when the coil is switched off. And this is the experiment that I was doing with um, Tin Man's uh, rotary transformer. And basically uh, what I had done to uh, create a, a situation where we've got uh, flyback uh, in a universal motor, this is a universal motor, if you look closely here, this is a commutator segment here and this is the next commutator segment but the wire has been pulled back so basically you lift up this tab here and the tab is gone actually because I've modified this rotor here and you push the wire back so every second tab the wire has been removed and pushed back here now uh, Whoopi made a, a different kind of uh, configuration where he's basically just drilled here and broke breaking away the commutator from uh, each commutator segment from the his input brush and with his tungsten rod uh, once you have a spark established through the spark gap he's collecting the flyback which is uh, creating his um, uh, very intense heat now that's something that I've also been reporting is having intense heat at one of the brushes one of the brushes uh, is going to dictate would, uh, or going to take over the flyback once you're in that kind of a situation. Now that's the difficulty in this motor is trying to get the flyback uh, off the uh, rotor coils. And what I've <coughs> come up with is with this configuration here and I've actually grounded away everything I can to pick up the, the widest uh, uh, commutator strips or segments if you want here as possible because what I've done is I've put two uh, brush systems. So I've got dual brush on uh, each side there. So you can see on the other side there as well. So the idea here is um, these brushes here are the ones that are going to uh, energize the coil. And then this set of brushes, if you look, they're a little slightly uh, offset. And by the way, they have to be filed to be no wider than the commutator segment. That's why you see them all small like that. So they're just slightly offset so that basically when this uh, rotor is turning, by the time just before the, the, the uh, brush removes off the commutator, this one is, uh, is connected to that commutator. And the same for here at the back. And these two are isolated from each other. This is epoxy and there's an air gap between these two. So I've made basically brushes that can actually um, be used to collect the flyback and these are the energizing brushes here. And I just thought I'd share this design. Uh, I've been uh, trying to fine tune it and uh, the difficulty I think with this design and uh, what uh, probably Tin Man was also getting is eventually uh, there's just a lockup that happens between the rotor and the uh, stator uh, lam or core and uh, it's just like it just becomes like a magnet and it just eventually doesn't want to even turn anymore so it's like really frustrating to work with this thing because of that main problem so I can't get this to work uh, really stable but it's interesting what uh, Whoopi is doing is basically <laughs> through the spark gap he's creating an ionization basically between uh, these two points so you don't even need a brush so basically with an air gap the correct air gap but I mean it's really really hard on the uh, copper here and there is a point when you tune it right you have this green green plasma that happens so that's something as well that I had been noticing just using even just my carbon brushes you can get it to get it, go to the green plasma plasma and when that happens basically the carbon itself just gets destroyed and the rotor as well 
so eventually it becomes useless so I've been trying to work this out in a way where I can you know not ruin the whole commutator and all this but there is definitely something interesting happening uh, with the flyback and it seems to have quite a bit of energy and uh, that's uh, what I've been uh, trying to experiment with so that's it for now I'll have some other videos coming up about my um, uh, other uh, motor and uh, anyways thanks for watching bye now